Which tree do you like, Zaya? Which one is your favorite? And the rainbow. You like the rainbow one? Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and this vlog is going to mark the beginning of something that you guys have been talking about and asking me about since before I even moved into this house. <laughs> Here she comes. This vlog is going to mark the beginning of me preparing for Christmas and getting my Christmas decorations up and just completely decking my house out for Christmas. And, and a Christmas tree. And a Christmas tree. Is that what a Christmas tree looks like? So anyway, it is the beginning of November right now, so I definitely still have uh, time before I need to fully like set everything up in the house, but I have a lot of stuff that I need to buy because I basically really don't have anything coming from my townhome that I used to live in. I had a few little small Christmas and decorations. Santa, Santa Claus is almost coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we have about mm, almost two more months until Santa Claus comes. Is that where he lives? He lives at the mall? Mm -hmm. But Santa's not there anymore. He's at another store. He's at another store? Mm -hmm. Santa oh. Claus. Where is he? Maybe to Target. He's at Target? Mm -hmm. What is he doing at Target? I don't know. Santa Claus gets smaller and smaller and he gets to go in, the, in that plant. What? Why would Santa Claus be in the plant? Because that's in store. So anyway, I was trying to say that I really don't have any Christmas decor. I have like a little small box of a few little small decorations that I used to put up in my townhome, just like like these little mini Christmas trees and like one string of lights. So in order to decorate this new space that we are in, I am definitely going to need a lot more stuff. So that is the first step today is to go to all the stores. They're already putting out the Christmas decor. Some stores started putting out Christmas stuff before Halloween. So right now, definitely, since Halloween is over, all the stores have their Christmas stuff out already. And my mom was saying that she was looking around and it looks like people are already like buying up all the good stuff. So I'm just trying to like hurry up and get in there and get what I need. So it's actually a pretty gloomy day outside. So the lighting inside my house is not that great, but just to give you guys a little, a little idea of the stuff that I think I'm gonna get, definitely for my entryway, I wanna make this all like a Christmassy, so I wanna put like garland and things going on the staircase and actually like all the railing. Like I think it would be nice to continue it all the way up onto the balcony and on the other side. And then for right here, this is a good location to put a Christmas tree, I feel. I could put my main Christmas tree, like move this table out the way and put my Christmas tree right there. Or I was thinking I could leave the table put like a smaller, like medium sized Christmas tree on top of the table and like decorate it around it on the table and just have that be like the entryway Christmas tree decoration. In the living room, I could put the real Christmas tree, like a much bigger one. Since the ceilings are obviously super tall in here, I could have like an extremely tall Christmas tree, like a 12 foot tree or something like that. And I think that that would look really cool in that corner. And then something that people of course always do for Christmas is decorate around the fireplace and hang stockings off of their mantle. But I don't have a mantle and I don't have, you know, it's just a flat surface with tiles. So I'm not sure what I can really do around the fireplace because there's just nothing, there's no surface, there's nothing to hang things off of. So I'm probably just gonna have to get creative with that. And then maybe I could get like some holiday uh, pillows to spice up the couch. And then I think also in the kitchen, I really wanna try to do like a holiday tablescape on my kitchen table and have like, a runner with maybe like a little mini Christmas tree or like a few mini Christmas trees. So today is just step one. I just wanna go to all the stores and see what they have and get inspired and get some of the main stuff that I know that I need and just start getting my, my color scheme and my idea and my theme together. This is my first Christmas in the new house. So you know I wanna do it big. You know I wanna deck it out as much as possible. I don't know if y'all just saw Grammy popping out in the background. She's been working in her office. And of course, you know Grammy is gonna be involved in the decorating I was, process. I don't know, streamline this process. So I just did some research ahead of time. 
because like you're going out looking at trees and you kind of know where you want to put it but we were talking about like putting one here and if you get a really a 12 foot they come in a couple of different dimensions like you can get a narrow one or you could just get a really big one hold on <laughs> what? are you okay I feel like there's no reason why I couldn't have the tallest Christmas tree that they make because of how high the ceilings are. I could go as tall as, as they come if I wanted to and just, if I wanted to have a giant tree. But the taller they are, the wider they're gonna be even if they're narrow. I mean, I guess we'll just have to look at them. But basically what, the only thing we really need to know for sure is the maximum width that can fit right here. Maximum would be like five feet in in diameter is the biggest I could go. The height, I could go tall. Are you excited to go look at Christmas trees? What kind of Christmas tree should we get? A big one or a little one? Big one. A big one? Yeah, a rainbow one. A rainbow one? Mm, I don't know about that. You did? Well, maybe we can get one for your room. Okay, so we just pulled up to the store, but on my way over here, I was looking through all these catalogs. I definitely saw some good inspiration in the CB2 catalog. They had some cute um, holiday ideas in here. Mm, this is nice and neutral, just like greenery. And then Zaya really likes all the little animals, like these little polar bears and owls. You can like stick the owls in your Christmas tree and like place the polar bears around the tree. You like those? So we just pulled up to at home. I wanted to start here just because at home is such like a big home decor superstore. I feel like they're gonna have the most selection in terms of like really big Christmas trees since it's the biggest store. Is it cold? It's cold and windy out here. Why the baby don't have clothes on? It's cold. <laughs> I don't have to hold you and the baby. <laughs> Zaya, you are too big for that. Wow, it's Christmas Wonderland. I like these vibes over here. Just very like, kind of like neutral with the little pops of the dark red. Like if I did any color, I would just do red. Like I don't think I would do purple or turquoise or you know, these other color schemes. I would just keep it classic like with these colors. Uh-uh, that is so creepy to me. They're nice, that looks creepy. Ooh, speaking of creepy, they got, I don't know. Some Christmas stuff is scary to me. Hmm. Oh, look at Black Santa. Santa Claus is a black man. This Santa Claus is white. That Santa Claus is white, yes. <laughs> they have a white Santa and a black Santa. Designer trees. Oh, wow. Is that pretty? And a pink one? Oh, what is this? It's a Why would you want to dress your tree up as a gingerbread woman? What the heck? Hello, hello. Which tree do you like, Zaya? Which one is your favorite? The rainbow. You like the rainbow one? Do you like the colorful ones? Oh, Disney ornaments. We don't have any like ornament collection, like how we have a special ornament, my mom does. She has all the collectible ornaments that we've gotten over the years. PJ Mask ornaments? Oh no. Where do you wanna hang it on Grammy's tree? Mm -hmm. When Grammy gets her Christmas tree up. Are you sure you want the, the gecko? They have Little Mermaid, Minnie Mouse, Jasmine. You want gecko? Okay, why is that one open? I like the cat open. You want Owlette? Yeah. You just pick one, pick one. I'm gonna hang this one on Grammy's tree. Hang it on Grammy's tree? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's put it on Grammy's tree. Yeah, at Grammy's house. 
Yeah, Grammy can have the PJ mask ornament on her tree. <laughs> you like that one? We're not getting that. That is scary. Yes, it is. That is so creepy. Okay, let's go over here. Can you get in the basket so we're not chasing you down? Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm gonna have to let Zaya have her own little mini Christmas tree, like in her playroom or in her bedroom. That way she can get all the crazy, colorful, tacky <laughs> ornaments that she wants and just put them up there where they're kind of out of sight. The whole store is just... The best Christmas tree ever. What? The design it's like, this tree talks. Just aisles upon aisles upon aisles upon oh my god that i don't need to go to any other store there's so much stuff in here this is literally your one-stop shop and they have it all categorized by like theme like this peacock looking theme a more rustic theme over here <gasps> Ooh, this is my vibe i like the sparkly golden glam frosty look and this tree is really tall this is a 12 foot tree 62 inches in diameter well how many how many feet is 62 inches it's 60 inches is five feet okay so yeah this is actually the perfect size kind of I mean, in theory I, I found online were at least 9.99 this is going to be the best price for this tree 4.99 yes they were 9.99 to 12.99 like how tall it is. I can't even see the top of it. Honestly, that was way easier than I thought, but I think this is the tree. It has everything that I wanted. It's the actual like perfect size that's gonna fit in my space. 12 feet tall, perfect diameter. It's got the flocking, it's got the lights already on it. It looks really pretty on display and it is the best price um, just based on the prices that we've already seen online that is a really good price so I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one they have them like in stock over here so I'm also trying to see like how big the box is because I'm gonna have to store this somewhere is it C35 this C36 box right here you can see how far back that goes and how tall it is it's about two feet tall and five feet deep it's a pretty big heavy box but i probably will have space in my garage i think i'll find space for it but now the other issue with buying a 12 foot tree is how do i get it home because even in the condensed box the box is so big and heavy that i do not think it's going to fit in my mom's car or my car because we drive like smaller little suvs my brother has a moving truck and a regular truck so I could call him to come back another day and get it for me maybe. Well, at least I know which tree I wanna get. I'll figure out how to get it to my house at some point. <laughs> now I need to look for all the ornaments and stuff to go on the tree, as well as just additional decor for the rest of the house. What is wrong with him? Are you okay? Oh, brain freeze. That is so cute, I wanna get that for Zaya. And then she can put her own little ornaments on it. Look at this little pink tree. Yeah, I was basically thinking either, how tall is this? This is five feet, it doesn't look like five feet up there. But like a little short squatty tree to go on the table and then like decorate around it on the table. Or three small trees, like, a little trio of trees to place on the table. Zai, look at this pink tree. Ooh. You can put this in your playroom. No, she said no, thank you. You don't like it? No, I like the rainbow. You like that rainbow, rainbow tree. tree. Mm -hmm. I don't like that rainbow tree. I like this one. You don't like it? You get a plain tree. I tried to talk to you in the pink tree last year and you said I was crazy. You, yeah, but you were talking about my main tree for the living room. I'm talking about for Zaya for the playroom. I love that reindeer. That reindeer. Mm -mm. Is so cute. Why do y'all like these creepy, lifelike animals? <laughs> that is so creepy. Oh, here's another frosty section. It's kind of pinkish and frosty. Oh, look at these, Zaya. A glamorous reindeer. 
You like that reindeer? Yes, I like reindeers. I like the nice, not realistic looking <laughs> reindeers. The realistic ones are scary. How about a glam owl? Is he glam? Look, he got a pink Santa hat on. Mm, that one's kind of cute. baby is too high maintenance. For the entryway where that table is, I'm gonna put a small Christmas tree or like maybe a group of three small Christmas trees and then under that on the table, I wanna set the scene of all the winter animals. So like all these little cute little penguins and polar bears and reindeer and stuff. I wanna get like a few different ones. Okay, so for the type of tree that I'm going for based off of my inspiration photos, which I will put photos on the screen, I definitely need a bunch of different types of white ornaments in terms of like just the regular spherical ones. And then I'm gonna add in a lot of like untraditional ornaments, I guess if that makes sense, like pine cones and different uniquely shaped things to really fill it in and all those little sticks and feathery stuff. Stop, Michaels. It is freezing out here, freezing in Texas terms. Not good weather to be running around store to store, but. Four foot table time. Yeah, I think that's too small. Cause I could fit three of those on the table. I'm gonna need like a hundred feet of garland to wrap all around the whole railing we should have measured that this is two dollars for one stick <laughs> how many of these sticks would i need you like that one how much this section is 40 percent off okay so yeah these little sticks are like a dollar each i don't like the yellow gold and i don't want to do rose gold i want to do like this but not really this leaf they don't really have the kind of sticks i want over here i, mean, I don't really think we need that many more just regular ornaments we need like the special stuff thirty dollars now where'd you get the idea that you were allowed to pick something i want to pick a car well you didn't want a pink christmas tree to put ornaments on so where are you gonna put them on the tree on the real tree on the big tree <laughs> well but it doesn't match I was trying to get I you your own it. tree. It perfect on there. You won't even notice. Don't drop it because it's very glass. It'll break. It's very glass. <laughs> it's very breakable. Okay. Let me see how much this um, garland is. Honestly, probably ordering garland online. Like if you need a bunch of garland, you would probably just order it off of Amazon, I would think would be your best price point. Because Michael's is not a place where you go to get a deal. It's $30. That's so $15. No, it's not $15. It's 30% 30 30 off. 30%. So they definitely have a lot of like cute specialty ornaments in here and everything, but it's just the prices are not, even with everything being on sale, the prices are too high and I feel like I can get better stuff for a better price elsewhere. Okay guys, so we just pulled up to Home Goods. Um, like I said, Michaels really didn't have anything for a good price that really like caught my eye. So I wanna check Home Goods because you know they're always good for a deal. But also my mom was saying like, you know what Raven, if you really want something to look nice, you might have to just spend a little extra money on it, get the things you really like so it can really look nice. So I'm also going to check online when I get home and probably order some stuff online. And I might have to shell out a little extra cash for certain things but you know i'm just gonna check home goods because you always gotta check 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 where you can get a deal because you might get a deal you might not get a deal but you might get a deal so you want to check for the deals first Ooh. 
deck. The hot. Ooh, what the? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is scary. Mommy Santa Claus and Daddy Santa Claus. That is so scary. Yeah, I don't think I really want to do red. You have to be very careful with those. They're breakable. That's called a snow globe. I'm just thinking what happens. If you shake it, it snows. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, he's delivering the Christmas trees. Look at this Santa. Why oh, he got elf legs and Santa top? Santa is an elf, don't you know? Santa is an elf? Yes. No, he's not. Yes, who's, traditionally. Who said, <laughs> who said that? Ooh, that would be good for your gate. It's perfect colors and everything. It's $130. Yeah. <laughs> and? Um, it has lights on it. Do you think this is worth $130? Mm-hmm. Very expensive. And mommy, look at this. What's that? It's a Santa Claus. It's a Santa Claus. It's a red duck. I guess I will. And I can see him face. It's just a hat with feet. What is that? A Santa Claus elf. A Santa Claus elf? Hey, be careful. Look at That's silly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is exactly pretty much three feet. And my gate is three feet, so it might be like a little too big, like kind of brushing when you try to open the gate. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it anyway and try it out just because I feel like if I don't get it and I try to go home and measure my gate, then it might not be here when I come back for it. So. I think it should be the right size. It might be too big. If it is, I'll just return it. I don't really, I'm not like fully in love with this iron wooden, what is it called? Firewood holder. Firewood holder thing. It would work and it would definitely go with my stuff and like match with my lanterns and stuff. But I think I could also use something like this to put like those white birch firewood logs in here. And this would kind of give like a softer, effect <laughs> so i think i'm gonna go for the basket instead of the metal thing for the firewood and it'll, it'll just kind of be next to my fireplace and it looks more like cozy i would say so it is now pitch black dark outside it looks like it's 10 o'clock at night it's really 6 30 at night which is still kind of late to still be going to stores but my mom really wanted to show me what they had at crate and barrel because this is one store that i never go to i definitely look at their catalogs and look at it online but I don't think I've ever actually came into the physical store. They are having a 20% off Get Cozy sale. Oh, I see cute stuff already. Ooh, my bun is just getting more and more messed up the longer we go, but we just left Crate and Barrel. I definitely saw some cute stuff in there, but it was pricey and I just wasn't completely sure about it. I didn't just want to like splurge and get that stuff. Um, without checking other stores first. The only thing I got was the little white birch wood logs, which were perfect, so I got those checked off. I really wanted those. Um, and then afterwards, I realized that I had a $100 gift card for Crate and Barrel after I paid for the stuff. So then I might end up going back and using my gift card to get some of the other stuff that I liked there. But now we are at Pottery Barn. I think this might be our last stop. You guys, this has been a very chaotic shopping day. I don't know what, I mean, what did I expect? I went into it with basically no plan, no list, no idea, just going to a bunch of stores, seeing if I could find everything I need to turn my house into a winter wonderland. We've gone to a bunch of stores. I thought Pottery Barn was gonna be the last store. My mom was saying that they are gonna have so much stuff. We go in there, number one, they were having an in-store event, so it was super awkward and we couldn't really look around. Number two, we did finally look around. There was like literally like only two Christmas things in there. Like they barely had anything in there for Christmas, so that wasn't a good store to go to. But then I looked across the street and I'm like, ooh, Pier 1 looks like I can see some Christmas stuff in their window. So now we're at Pier 1. This is going to be the last store that we look at for today. After this, 
I will be shopping online and just order whatever the heck else I need because I am tired of this. I've been doing so much of this going store to store to store because I've been trying to get stuff for just my regular home decor. I've been trying to get stuff for Zaya's bedroom recently. Now I'm trying to get, then I was trying to get Halloween decorations. Now I'm trying to get Christmas decorations. Like I am tired. I am tired of going store to store and going to these same stores and never really finding anything. I'm gonna stay my butt at home at my computer and look online and just get what I can get and it's gonna have to work. But I'm gonna try Pier 1 and this is gonna be the last place. It looks promising. They've got a lot of Christmas stuff in here so. Like I like this little tablescape. $12.99, 20% off all dining tabletop stuff. So I guess this is 20% off. Um, what is that? Reindeer. Wow. They're so soft and this is a cute owl and reindeer. That's just a toy. Zaya's trying to scam her okay. way into getting some toys <laughs> under the guise of it being Christmas decor. These okay, yeah, that's cute. I like that. And this one? I don't like the ho ho ho. Okay. Maybe this one. That is so cute. Okay, so we just sat here and calculated exactly how many feet, or approximately how many feet of stair railing I have in my whole house, and it is approximately 53 feet, including everything upstairs, like the balcony and everything. So, based on the fact that we saw that they were selling garland for about nine feet a pack, and it was about $20, $22 for nine feet of garland. In order for me to have enough garland to even be able to like, cause you also need a little bit more. I can't just get exactly 53 feet of garland cause then that's just barely enough to like stretch across here. But I kind of want to like drape it. So I need to get more than 53 feet. Meaning I would have to get like eight packs of nine foot garland. Meaning that that's going to be about $200 worth of garland. It's gonna be a lot and it's gonna be expensive, but I think it's gonna be a good investment because it's something that I will use every year when I'm decorating for Christmas. And it is gonna make a big statement in here. Like, I feel like I have to put something on my stairs. Anyways, y'all don't wanna sit here and watch us do math on it. But long story short, we're gonna have to really do some math and some planning to even figure out how many bunches and how many are gonna go on each rail and how are we gonna connect it and how are we gonna plug it in. It just, it seems like a cute idea. Like, oh, just throw some garland on your stairs. Then when you actually try to do it, you realize that it's a lot more difficult than it looks to get it to look how you want it to look. So that's one thing that I definitely know I want for sure and I'm gonna work on finding that and figuring it out. Another thing is we had to come back and measure this table and kind of measure how high of a tree could really fit on this table because I honestly think like we were talking about just having like a bunch of little trees and maybe getting one that's like a little bit bigger than this and just kind of having like three little trees on the table but I honestly feel like I should just put like a basically a full size Christmas tree on there because the space can handle it like that's a full size dining table technically is what that really is and then this is really tall you could put up to like a a six foot tree up there. And it's not even like blocking anything. I already know I'm getting the 12 foot tree for right here, but then probably like a five or a six foot tree for this table. And then these little trees can just be like, you know, little extra things like on the coffee table, on the island, or maybe even mixed into whatever I put next to my fireplace. Those are actually kind of even too little for right there. I don't know, when you're working with a bigger space, you gotta get bigger decorations, cause look how tiny that looks. <laughs> Everything looks wimpy. Obviously there's a lot more planning and shopping to be done, but just as a quick overview of everything that I did get today, this is the large wreath that I got from Home Goods. I was a little afraid that it was gonna be too big, but I just took it outside to my front gate to kind of like measure it, and it actually is the perfect size. So this is what you'll see from the exterior of my house 
hanging on my front gate and I'm really happy with this. I think it's perfect. Matches the color scheme I wanted to do perfectly with the glittery gold champagne-y colors. And I love the frosted, sparkly, winter wonderland look. So I think this was a really good find. So I'm happy with this from Home Goods. And then these little trees, I already had these. These were my main decorations basically in my town home. And now they just look so small in this new house. So these I'll just use somewhere as like a little detail, like I was saying. But what I did get today is just this stuff over here. So all of these ornaments were from at home and I just went with different types of white ones. So like these pearlescent ones, these crunchy looking icy, snowball looking ones and then these big jumbo glitter white ones got two of those and these metallic kind of got like a cracked glittery effect on here and then just some standard sized glittery ones there's actually quite a few in this box and these glittery star shaped ones. I got two packs of these. So it's really not that many ornaments, but that's because I'm really not going for a tree that's full of just ornaments. I'm really gonna put a lot of different like little specialty items and branches and other things besides regular ornaments. So I didn't wanna get too many of these, but I did also get six of these elongated pine cones that I was showing you guys. But then from Home Goods, I got this basket. So it's kind of like painted white on the bottom. This was like $15, I believe. And then we went to Crate and Barrel to get the wood to go in the basket. This was like $20 for a pack of three at Crate and Barrel. Really pretty like white, I think it's birch wood or at least supposed to look like birch wood. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's just for decoration either way. So I think that goes perfectly with the basket. And the idea is to have this sitting off to the side next to my fireplace just to give that like cozy fireplace look, you know? So home goods, crate and barrel, and then from Pier 1, I just got these two decorative pillows. So it's got this beaded effect on it, a snowflake one, and then this one that has the three Christmas trees. I think these are so pretty and they go really well with the overall like glittery, frosty, look of everything else and these were buy one get one 50 percent off at pier one imports so i got a pretty good deal on those i also saw some of those little tabletop christmas trees and lanterns and stuff that i was showing you in pier one i did not end up buying any of those just because i'm not completely sure what i really want to do for my tablescape um, so once i plan that out a little bit better i'll probably go back and buy more stuff for it. But for now, I just went ahead and got the pillows. And that is actually all I got. I didn't actually buy my 12 foot Christmas tree yet because we weren't sure if it would fit in the car, but I am going to definitely get that one from at home. And then I definitely have like kind of a mental list of other things that I wanna get. Other things that I'm still looking for, the garland for the stairs, multiple different Christmas trees I still need to get, a lot more ornaments and stuff for my big Christmas tree. There's still a ton of stuff left. And then also like my Christmas lights for the outside of my house, I have to get those installed. There is just a lot. So I'm definitely gonna take some time to look at stuff online and just order stuff and go back to the stores. Um, I also didn't even go to Target today, which is unlike me. So <laughs> I'll probably definitely take a, probably a few trips to Target and a few more trips back to Home Goods to see what they have. So this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to decorating. So definitely the next time that we touch on this subject, you guys will see a much bigger haul and you guys will actually see me starting to put everything up in the house. And I'm definitely gonna vlog me and Zaya decorating our Christmas tree, our first, yeah, that'll be our first like real Christmas tree that we've had of our own. Cause I've never actually had a Christmas tree in my like apartments or anything before. So that'll be exciting. Definitely stay tuned for upcoming vlogs of like actually decorating my house and showing you guys the finished product. So if you're excited about that and if you liked this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on seeing my final Christmas decorations. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.